you know, some of my customers come here and tell me I have magic. You could call it a special touch or an ability to solve problems. Boxes where no, normally somebody would be able to put their feet. Uh, I have them so I can, you know, rest my legs on top of them. From his business to the modifications on his snow machine. I guess I'm, I'm good at figuring things out. Israel Hale finds a way to get it done. I say I can do anything and everything I did before, it just takes me three times longer. This perseverance comes from a painful place. My trailer had uh, broken down and I had it jacked up and I was leaning in the back of my trailer to pull out a board and, uh, you know, trying to fix it. And uh, I, I got hit from behind and uh, I was instantly uh, cut in half. In September of 2012, Hale was struck by a car on the side of the road. With the tremendous amount of blood loss he was uh, experiencing due to the damage of his legs, the actions of those two individuals in all reality saved his life. She tied tourniquets on me and uh, there was an ambulance team was there very, very quickly. She said that she feels like it was her duty and that's what she would want somebody to do for her so that's why she did it. A 25 year old Hale would wake up five days later in Seattle after losing almost all the blood in his body. Very much a miracle. God was really looking out uh, for me and uh, obviously it wasn't my time and uh, I, you know they gave me about a three percent chance of living for a couple of days and they didn't think I was gonna make, make it through. After surviving the accident, Hale initially thought he was paralyzed. My wife told me that I was missing both of my legs. And uh, her quote, my response was, that's okay, I'll figure out a way to walk. The pain medication from his accident would leave Hale bedridden. I, I, I couldn't do anything. I was completely unmotivated. I was completely an invalid. I was sleeping between 20, 22 hours a day. It took four months to withdraw from the opioids. Honestly, the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And that's when things started to turn around for Hale. For me, I think it was more about a year after his accident where I felt like it was gonna go well for him because before that it was pretty scary what was gonna really happen with him. And I really was encouraged as soon as he started the small engine repair shop. Along with starting his own business, he got physically motivated joining a sled hockey team and got back into the outdoors. You know, I shot a moose out of my wheelchair the following year with my bow. His passion for the outdoors would soon lead him to try snow machine racing. Saw last year on Facebook that there was a uh, Maris Cup race in Valdez. Um, you know, in written snowmobiles and doing what I do, I thought, you know, hey, I should get involved in this. Hale didn't place in the 2019 Mayor's Cup, but that's not what mattered. I came in last, but I did. This would spark Israel and his brother Joseph to sign up for the 2020 Iron Dog. I was like, listen, you can run the Iron Dog, and if you can do it, obviously I can do it, so let's just do this together, let's just do it. Proving to themselves and others there's nothing Israel can't do. Nothing is impossible, no matter what your disability is, no matter what physical, mental, nothing is impossible, and, and don't quit. <laughs>